nervous sometimes about talking about that stuff, but I realize we're in the capital of our great nation. If we can't talk about that shit here, where can we talk about it? It also makes me think of, uh, for those of you that don't follow me on the Facebook or the Twitter, I would suggest doing it, because I had one of the greatest days of my entire life um, last week. One of our shows got rained out. This doesn't parlay in any of these songs at all. Full of this shit. Um, I made a very simple Twitter post. It, it, uh, just to ask the question whether Donald Trump was the Westboro Baptist Church of politics or Westboro Baptist Church was the Donald Trump of religion. And it seemed like a simple SAT question. Uh, you know? Which one occupies the space of the other in their respective fields? And I thought that we'd all have a laugh about it. <laughs> Nine hours later, um, I was fending off internet trolls. And I have to say it was one of the greatest days of my life. <laughs> And, and then I spent the next nine hours just reading the stupid shit that I'd written back to these people. And mind you, if you want to send me rude shit on Twitter or Facebook, feel free. Just understand that I'm not going to have an actual discussion with you. I'm just going to try to say the stupidest, funniest stuff that I can to entertain myself. I can like have an actual conversation. I can give you my email address and we'll sit and talk about whatever you want to talk about. But in 144 characters, my greatest goal is to just bring tears to my own eyes from that. <laughs> and it worked at least five times that day, so... Cheers to me. <laughs> and if I haven't offended you yet, this song ought to take care of you.
song sort of fell apart there for just a second. That's only because I went over to rock out with my friend Brady on the keyboards. And I forgot that there's a limited amount of time in that section before he finishes the solo. I'm supposed to be back up here singing and the chords change. And I didn't do any of that. And if it was one of the other musicians in the band, like we can frown upon that. You'd be like, Jesus, they're so unprofessional. But the wonderful thing about having your name on all the album covers and the marquee out front writing the songs is I can just go, eh, fuck it, I wanted it to go a little longer that time. I was trying out a new part. And it was not a good part. But you got to see the process. No extra charge for that, ladies and gentlemen. That's how much we love you. Thank you. 